Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Elder Ford in Tampa, Florida. And boy, oh boy, do I have one hot pickup truck. This is a 2020 Shelby Super Snake, but this one is the sport single cab, just like you wanted. And before we get into this supercharged pickup truck, let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. So Shelby American, based out of Las Vegas, working with Tuscany, they take the Ford F-150, and boy, oh boy, do they give it a supercharged power pack punch. Now this truck is a truck that many of you have been asking for. It's a single cab, and what's awesome is it's not just about that supercharged power. We also have increased suspension and braking capability. And what I really want to kind of wrap our minds around is this 2020 Shelby Super Snake Sport F-150, is it a reincarnation of the mighty SVT Lightning? So let's go ahead, let's dive in and see what the boys and the girls at Shelby American in Tuscany have done to an F-150. Right off the bat, I love the color. I think besides white and blue and blue and white, I love silver with black. Super Snake, silver, black racing stripes. We start up front, of course, this being an F-150, you're gonna get your standard headlights set up. My one zonk is with this being a Shelby Super Snake, that should be all LED, but it's not. You work your way down, you're gonna get this very, very unique, not only grill area, and you can see how the headlight wraps around the beginning of that grill, all functional with this beautiful wire mesh. You drop down, you're gonna get functionality with cooling ducts and a massive front splitter that of course has that Shelby name stamped right on it. Now this lower bumper area, unique to the Super Snake, same grill with that shape, gonna flow lots of air, the black racing stripes, absolutely stunning. Really, really elegant and muscular all at the same time. You have that iconic Cobra, that Shelby F-150 770 horsepower badge with that Cobra there. I I'm ready to let it bite me in, in my neck and just, and just kill me. It'd be a sweet death especially behind the wheel of this thing. But you can see the custom grill that we have with the racing stripes. And then as we work our way up, you're gonna get a fiberglass hood with more of that functional twin air inlet, inlet air intake that's gonna force feed air into that supercharged engine. The racing stripes go all the way over the top and back. You can see the multi-levels that we have here. And from the side, really, really super clean. I'm glad they didn't put a supercharged badge here. We don't need more stuff stuck onto this beautiful head, but hood, but carbon, it's a uh, fiberglass plus functionality wraps it all together. And the cool thing is, is that Carol Shelby, even going back to the 1965 Shelby GT350 has been using fiberglass parts, fiberglass hoods on those creations. Now, as we come around the bend, look at what we're working with wheel and tire stuff. So you have these 22 inch forged aluminum wheels with the Shelby badging there, absolutely drop dead gorgeous. You got 305 on the width, 40 series sidewall, it's sitting on coilovers. It has been dropped about an inch. Love that beautiful silver fender flare that they got going on there. And then one thing I'm also gonna have Victor kind of come back in and show you, this one has not brake caliper covers, but actual Shelby specific bare braking system. So besides Brembo, there are other names out there like Willwood and also Bear, B-A-E-R, not Bear like Rawr Bear braking system so you're going to get those six piston bright red calipers going to clamp down on those massive rotors slotted and ventilated wait until you hear the numbers on how this truck accelerates but also brakes going into the fender you get that shelby badge functionality with the same wire mesh material another zonk and i know it's crazy to zonk a shelby product but you do have just flat black on the side mirrors it would be nice to have color matching mirror caps we have the Shelby badge down below, and you can see that single cab. This really does look like an SVT Lightning that's been reincarnated, and a lot of you have been waiting for that. Here's your chance right here with the Shelby Super Snake. Working our way towards the back, I'm gonna have Victor kind of drop down with me. Look at the traction bars. Everything's set up for road course handling and also straight line speed acceleration. This has all been customized through the engineers at Tuscany and Shelby American, those beautiful 22 inch wheels, Super Snake Sport badging, and then I love the tonneau cover, especially the way the racing stripes come across the back, and then look at this kick up that they built into the back of the tonneau cover, made for performance. 
I'm actually going to swing all the way around without falling over these parking bucks because what I want to show you is that this has a dual side exit, very similar to the SVT Lightning. These are Shelby branded specific, specific Borla catback exhaust. So you're going to get a nice V8 growl. I love the slash cut. I love the way they're staggered. And of course, coming out the side just screams Shelby really through and through and that performance. Now going back to the tailgate area, let's show off this tonneau cover. So the wonderful thing is you're going to have this nice aerodynamic specific tonneau cover. You got the Shelby name looking so clean across the back and to open this up, it's real easy. Just lift it up. There's our room there. And then if you want to drop down the rest, fully carpeted. So the nice thing is if you get kicked out of your house, after you buy one of these, if your significant other kicks you out, you could sleep back here in the back of one of these. Very easy to just put back together. One, two, three, closes back up. You can see how the racing stripes come all the way down. And then to wrap it off, you have that Super Snake Sport badge on the back. But why don't we go ahead, enough talk about badges. Let's open up that hood and check out that five liter supercharged V8. All right, guys, we have that hood open. I want to show you on the underside, you can see the functionality. So the air is going to come through those two air inlets, and then it's going to come out here and be force fed into that whole custom air box and intake system. Now, what are we looking at? We're looking at that Coyote 5 liter V8 engine. That's where we start. They went ahead and put a Shelby specific supercharger on there. That's going to bump power to 770 horsepower, about 900 pound feet of torque. It's made it to that slick shifting 10 speed automatic transmission. Are you ready for performance? Zero to 60 in 3.45 seconds zero to 100 and back to zero and that is going to take you 8.3 seconds it has a custom billet throttle body you got the performance air intake the special air box you got those adjustable control arms coil over springs the boiler exhaust special fuel system to help give you that great horsepower that you come to expect i think one of my favorite things is seeing that carbon fiber air intake tube here you got that massive billet aluminum throttle body nice black and that freaking powder coat of blue it, it, it's almost like i'm a moth to a flame i just see it and i'm just like ah uh. but why don't we go ahead let's fire up this truck this is just one of 250 being produced and see what an eargasm is going to be like with that whipple supercharged engine let's go fire it up guys we're inside this 2020 Shelby Super Snake Sport I know you're saying to yourself Joe I've been waiting for this moment I've been waiting for you to have this single cab pickup truck for as long as you started Rady's rides and I really really have been dreaming of some type of lightning replacement but since Ford hasn't delivered boy oh boy is this Shelby truck bringing the goods now I know you're wondering well Joe how much is this truck you're looking at an MSRP the way that this one is optioned around $98,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, the Zonk is gonna be, there's a lot of hard plastic up top and the carbon fiber that you're seeing that trim is faux carbon fiber. Now the good news is you do have a nice size Twinkie pocket there and you're gonna need some race winning Twinkies because you're gonna win some races in this Shelby Super Snake. And down below, listen, load up on the Jimmy Johns. You could easily get four Jimmy John foot long subs with extra pickles go the distance, get the extra pickles. As we come to the dash, same story. This is an XLT trim, so you're getting the hard plastic. I'm not digging the faux carbon fiber. That's gonna be a zonk. What I am digging, though, is you have this beautiful Carroll Shelby badge here. You have a CSM number that's gonna follow this vehicle. The whole life of the truck tells you what truck you have, that Shelby Super Snake Sport. You have the eight inch Sync 3 system. It's dated, but it works really, really well. This does have four-wheel drive. So listen, you want to get that traction off the line, you're going to be able to do that, or you could do a nice smoky burnout. 
your standard AC controls, blower, fan switch, temperature switch. You have a couple USBs and a 12 volt. A nice little cubby here for your pink, for your uh, pink slips that you're gonna take from other drivers as you take their vehicles. And then if you notice, you could sit three across in here. So think about it. Normally in a single cab truck, you might only have the two seats with a big, huge center console. You can only share the experience with one person. You could bring another person for the ride. This really reminds me, my dad had a 1977 Ford Ranger uh, extended bed pickup truck. Him and I, when I was younger, we put a 93 fuel injected five liter uh, V8 engine in it with 250 shot of nitrous. And I remember just being in that single ca cab bouncing around as we're doing smoky burnouts. Brings back a lot of memories. But what's cool is, unlike my father's Ranger, first of all, these seats are very comfortable. Second of all, you have storage underneath. That's a nice touch as well. And then if you don't wanna take anybody, you don't have to. Because what's gonna happen is, is you could actually fold down this middle section here. You have a nice armrest, open this up. You could put breath mints. You're gonna to wanna to put breath mints in here for two reasons. First of all, if you have a hot date, I'm telling you, you wanna have fresh breath to make out with that hot date. Second of all, if you race anybody, because of all the smoke coming off the back of this truck from that smoky burnout, you're gonna leave a bad taste in their mouth. The least you could do, if you're taking their car or their truck from them after that race, give them a breath mint. Have them nice, have nice freshy mint breath so they could go get another vehicle. That's the least you could do. Two cup holders, you got a space here for your phone. It's XLT trim, so hard, hard plastic, but what I love are the seats. Super snake embroidery with the sport badge there. Alcantara, the leather, the stitch work, that really makes it a worthwhile combination in here. They're not ventilated or anything, so that's a bummer at $98,000. But do you want ventilated seats or do you want 770 horsepower? Because that's what you're getting with this one. Coming over to the business end though, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Shelby Super Snake. All right guys, here we are, business time. Now you do have power seat control for the driver, which is nice. And then check out the very tasteful floor mats with the Super Snake Sport embroidery. And then those billet aluminum pedals almost look like earrings, like somebody could wear them as earrings. That'd be kind of weird. But if somebody does, take a picture of it and send it to radiesrides.com because I definitely want to see somebody wearing those as, as earrings. Steering wheel, the Zonk is, it's a standard Ford F-150 steering wheel. Nothing sexy with the horn button. Faux carbon fiber, I guess, is a nice attempt. But where they do win me over is the dash. I do like the way they have a Shelby-specific branded tack, speedometer, and even the gauges across the top with the blue and the white racing stripes. Very, very tastefully done. You do have your column shifter for that 10-speed automatic transmission. But enough of this. Let's have the engine do the talking. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Shelby Super Snake for a spin. All right, guys, we left Elder Ford. We're in the 2020 Shelby Super Snake Sport on throttle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This thing gets up and boogies real quick. Amazing growl from that V8 engine, the supercharger whine. Whew. This is no joke, a fast truck. This is the fastest Shelby Super Snake that we have driven on Rady's rides. Everything, the seats are comfy, the layout is fine and perfect. The only bad news is, is that it just doesn't have all the amenities at this price point. Yes, you could get them, but then the truck would be well over $100,000 with uh, you know, ventilated seats and all those other goodies. Um, would have been nice to have an upgrade in steering wheel having just a regular rubber plastic steering wheel and this kind of truck just doesn't feel right. But uh, boy, oh boy, what does feel right is that on throttle presence, that's for sure. All right guys, we're cruising down the highway. It's interesting because with the vehicle being a little bit lower and those leaf spring shackles and everything else, you are getting a little bit more of a firm ride, but that is what's gonna allow this truck to handle like none other. And that's the thing that I love about it is that yes, Definitely in a straight line, you're gonna get that kind of performance, but also handling and braking, you're also gonna get amazing performance as well. Let's go ahead and do a little on throttle. Wow, 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 wow. This thing is ridiculous with a capital R. 
I mean, zero to 60 in 3.45 seconds in a truck. Just to put that in perspective for you, a standard F-150 with the Coyote V8 does zero to 60 in about six seconds. So that's what we're looking at there performance-wise. All right, guys, let's launch this from a desktop. On throttle, spin them if you got them, smoke them if you got them. A little bit of traction loss there. Actually, a lot of traction loss. Oh my God, I feel like I'm on a fucking Bronco. Wow. <laughs> Word to the wise, in wet conditions on concrete, you have no traction. Wow. That's what 770 horsepower, all that pound foot of torque. Whew. On throttle now. God, Jesus. Wow. Hey, she gets up and goes, but like I said, remember, you get one of these on wet concrete, no traction. I was pedaling and I even had the traction control on and I was still struggling. So that just shows the kind of performance that this thing has and how, yes, even with all the technology and whatnot, you still have to be careful and know what you're doing and not just ham fisted because you're gonna be spinning off the road. All right guys, one more on throttle experience before we bring it back to Elder Ford. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> Un-freaking believable. This thing is a freaking amusement park roller coaster ride that you can drive every single day. Comfy, even though it's a little bit more firm than your average Super Snake. Love having the single cab. Truck is so short. It, it's it's amazing. So we're gonna get back to Elder Ford and wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in a Shelby six. All right, guys. It's been one heck of a time here at Elder Ford. Definitely want to thank Jason, Nadia, Michael, the whole crew getting us their very first Shelby Super Snake F-150 Sport. Is this the Lightning reincarnated? You better believe it. You better bet your bottom dollar that this is what the 21st century Ford Lightning would have been after this wonderful episode that we have showcasing the performance showcasing the style does it have all the amenities that you would expect at ninety eight thousand dollars no but is it a performing truck yes and in that single cab setup but if it's trucks like these these shelby super snakes and other high performance trucks that you want to keep seeing on radius rise leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic. He actually, this past weekend, got a Cobra tattoo on his bag. So we're going to take pictures of that and post it on uh, social media. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Vic, for doing that for Radius Rides and for everybody else. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.